Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss third lecture of medicinal chemistry in which we will discuss sources and classification of drugs. So first we will discuss different sources of drugs and then classifications. So sources of drugs. There are different sources of drugs from which the major is plant so most of the drugs are obtained from plants and then we have some other forces uh, some other sources like animal sources microbes minerals synthetic marine and biotechnological products so let us discuss one by one in detail <coughs> so first is the plant sources from different sections or parts of the plants, uh, we obtain different kind of drugs that can be used for different purposes. So first, we will take an example of seeds. So uh, we will give some examples from seed sources like castor oil from castor seeds. We obtain clove oil from clove seeds and we obtain strychnine from vomica seeds. Similarly, if we take examples of leaves that we obtain atropine from atropa belladonna leaves, we obtain nicotine from tobacco leaves and eucalyptus oil from eucalyptus leaves and digitoxin from digitalis leaves. And there are so many other drugs which can be which are obtained from different parts of uh, plants like seeds and leaves and we can uh, give a lot of examples but here uh, only some examples are taken for our understanding from bark uh, there is a well known drug quinine from cinchona bark and atropine from atropa bark if we take examples of roots emetine from pecacoana roots we obtain and from flowers morphine from poppy plant and we obtain how we discuss animal sources uh, from pancreas of cow we obtain insulin which can be used for diabetes from sheep thyroid we obtain our stomach we obtain pepsin from cod liver we obtain vitamin A and D and uh, from blood we make different kind of vaccines and from animal fats we obtain different steroids and hormones <clears throat> which can be used for inflammation and different purposes. From bone we can obtain gelatin and calcium also. Microbial sources Penicillin is obtained from penicillium streptomycin an antibiotic drug is obtained from statin is obtained from streptomyces vancomycin is obtained from a mycolytopsis and lactic acid from lactobacilli similarly uh, we can obtain we can obtain a lot of uh, different medicines from different microbial sources and there are a lot of examples but here we are only taking some examples for our consideration for our understanding so mineral sources like iron we use for anemia zinc is important in wound healing iodine is important in goiter boric acid is used for eye irritation and borax is antiseptic and chlorine can be used as a disinfectant. Here are large class of drugs which are synthetic in nature and which can be prepared inside the lab and which are commercially available drugs. The, this method is more easy and we can obtain and properties are known when we are going to synthesize our and uh, we can obtain according to our requirement the examples of synthetic drugs are antihistamines antipyretics antibiotics and some other drugs
marine sources from marine sources we obtain different kind of compounds which can be used for different purposes as a medicine also like cod liver oil alginate agar alginate is obtained phytosane phytosane is obtained from crustaceans and is also obtained from crustaceans and uh, are molasses and the chitin is converted into chitosine and seaweeds so these can be used for different purposes or different medicines biotechnological products we obtain different biotechnological products like infliximab interferons opexone neupogen and insulin so these are some examples from biotechnological products classification of drugs now this is our second part of our lecture classify or we will uh, give detail on classification of drugs so drugs have been classified according to different uh, rules like in some books the classification is in alphabetic order while in some cases there are uh, classification of drugs uh, according to taxonomy and in some cases we have classification according to their morphology or pharmacological action or depending on type of chemical present inside the drug so there are different encyclopedias or books in which uh, these drugs are classified according to different pattern so first we will discuss alphabetic order of classification so in alphabetic order the drugs are classified according to alphabets like here we have given some examples like acacia starting from a benzoin when starting from b cinnamon digitalis ephedra phenyl and similarly some Uh, uh, on the basis of their alphabets we uh, classify these compounds taxonomical classification taxonomical classification is based on taxonomy and we know that what is taxonomy taxonomy is the uh, classification of uh, different plants according to their phylum order class family genus and species so like here we are going to take an example of ephedra which belongs to phylum gymnosperm and it is dicotyledon and the class is genitalis and its family is ephedraceae genus is ephedra and species is equistine so in this way the drugs are classified another example is fennel so fennel belongs to angiospermy it is dicotyledon its family is umbiliferi and its genus is funiculum and species is vulgar morphological classification drugs can be classified according to their morphology and uh, it can be further subdivided into two categories the first one is organized and the second one is unorganized or disorganized so in organized category uh, we uh, put these drugs according to their part from where we obtain like here uh, we if we obtain from leaves so they, they these will be included in in leaves class and then flowers and then fruits so and so on so from leaves uh, we have example of digitalis senna from flowers uh, clove saffron fruit fennel cumin from bark cinchona cinnamon from roots, Rovulfia, Shatavari, seeds, flax seeds, mustard seeds, lime seeds, and uh, rhizome. The examples are ginger and turmeric. So, in this way, uh, the drugs are classified according to their organized portion or the parts from where uh, these drugs were obtained. And uh, the unorganized category, an organized in unorganized category the drugs can be obtained in the form of extract from whole plant like agar from algae 
so agar and gelatin from juice like we are we can take an example of aloe vera so aloe vera juice and oil like we obtain castor oil and fat like wool fat the example of latex is opium and uh, waxes so in waxes category the example is beeswax and when we obtain gum it is an example of gum is acacia which is obtained from acacia arabica so in this way uh, we can uh, uh, put them in a separate category of unorganized drugs and they can be classified according to their extract juice latex or gum etc another category is pharmacological classification pharmacological classification depends on the action of drug that what will be the action of drug on our body so according to that action they are classified like expectorant expectorants example is peppermint and uh, laxatives like castor oil terminatives phenyl coriander analgesics the examples are opium morphine cns stimulant like coffee tea anti-cancer texas vinca and anti-malarial syncona artemisia so in this way the drugs are classified chemical classification chemical classification is based on type of chemical or the based on the compound which is present inside the drug like the chemical if the chemical is carbohydrate the examples are agar acacia if the drug is protein in nature then they will be included in proteins like trypsin gelatin if these are in lipid lipid in nature like castor oil beeswax and uh, it, the drugs may be from alkalides which are natural products are secondary metabolites so the examples are coffee ravulfia tea from glycosides aloe digitalis and uh, from tannins catechu and ashoka from resins benzoin from volatile oil menthol oil and chloroil so in this way the compounds are categorized according to their chemical nature thanks for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share my video in our next video we will discuss the examples of different medicines and their mechanism of action so thanks.